What's up guys and welcome to Web Predication's daily tech tips. In today's tech tip, I'll be showing you how to customize your iPhone's control center. Now this is the iPhone control center. It's basically a shortcut menu with your favorite shortcuts and that's what you call the control center. Now there are some controls like the airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, all this stuff. All these controls are built right into the operating system and you cannot change but at the bottom here you can add or remove some controls you want from the control center for instance this dark mode option is one that i added but i can remove it in case i don't want it there now to customize your control center simply go to settings and on the settings page you want to go to control center and then here you should see two lists one list is included controls and the other one is more controls. Now included controls are the controls that you have included in your control center, but you can remove if you want. For instance, dark mode, screen recording, camera, all these options, if you go to the control center, you should see them there. You have the camera there, you have the recorder button and the dark mode button. Now under more controls is a list of everything you can add to your control center. Now let's say for instance, you want your alarm in the control center for easy access. So all you have to do is tap on the plus icon on the left side of alarm and as you can see it's going to be shifted to the included controls and now when you go to your control center you should see alarm there. Now let's say you want to remove something, uh, for instance I want to remove camera, I'll just go to the included controls, find camera and tap on this dash or minus icon on the left hand side of the camera. Tap on that and then confirm you want to remove and that's it. The camera option will be demoted to this list now when you go to the control center you'll not be able to see camera there so you can go ahead and add the controls that you want in the control center and make it work the way you want your iphone to work now also there's a button up here that says access within apps and this basically lets you access the control center when you're using an app so for instance if you're in an app like the weather app you can simply swipe down and access the control center now, if you turn that off, you cannot access the control center from within an app. You'd have to go home and then access the control center. But I prefer to leave it on so I can access the control center anytime I want to. So I just leave that on. But that's basically how to customize your iPhone's control center. Now, for this tutorial, I'm using the iPhone 13 Pro, but it works on pretty much any new modern iPhone with a control center, which is basically all iPhones. Thanks for watching. You can leave your comments and questions down below. Don't forget to share and subscribe for more tips. Until the next one, my name is Chris and I'll talk to you guys soon.